Hi Sagittarius. Um, this is a really interesting message. <laughs> this is your random reading, which it has nothing to do with romance per se. Um, I really don't think it has to do with romance. I really actually think this has to do with friendship. Um, because I feel like you... It, it's so funny because I feel like there's something like a friend coming to you at the right time. Um, which actually leads to your destiny, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, because when the cards came out, I was like, what the heck is this, right? It said, um, next drama and destiny. And I'm like, what? How does drama lead to destiny? But sometimes it does, such. And I feel like it isn't so much that this is dramatic. I feel like... It kind of is dramatic, because I... Okay, so I feel like you've had some drama with a friend. Okay, um... So, blind is here, loss is here, apology is here. So, definitely, there is someone here who caused some damage. And this is a friendship, y'all. Just keep this in mind and don't tell me that it's your ex, because it's not. It's not your ex. But there's a friendship here, and... You know, this person probably was the one who caused the problem. And they are, have been really feeling it, okay? Um, and they have been, like, actually really feeling weird about um, bringing this apology, to be honest. Um, and really, this person's really sorry. Let me just say that. And they really are feeling... Or have felt the loss of you. So this would be if like you broke a bond with a friend recently. And it, not even recently. It could have been any time, right? Um, you may not know that this is coming. They're coming back to apologize. And it's so funny because it is exactly tied into your destiny. Um, which is going to be a really weird flow for some people. Because I actually think that somehow this person is an activator for you okay um in other words it's kind of like they come back to do something for you and it, it is like when this person comes back that's how they activate energy for you or activate movement so um definitely because we're seeing friendship specifically someone you have like, you have a bond with this person that is like family almost, right? Um, and then we have confinement and rights. So this person actually is helping you to set yourself free from some stuck energy. Like, particularly if you are feeling right now, Sag, like you just feel stuck in terms of life, right? I feel like this person is really... Um, they're coming back to free you. They're coming back to free you. It's so interesting because I kind of feel like, and if you take a look back and see if, is there a relationship where there is a person who really only comes in when you're having difficulty or when they're needing to, like, cause I know I have a friend like that who, you know, oh, story time, you know, at different times when I was isolating myself or wasn't really being true to myself, they would come back in to get me back on track. And that was the energy. And, uh, you know, of course, this could be someone who, once that's done, they leave, right? So that's what makes this person an activator. Um, it's so cool, literally. So, you know, I was asking what this has to do with your destiny. And the Five of Wands is here with the Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. It just has been feeling like you could just be feeling like you're stagnant right now. Like, like you only get so far and then things stop. And, you know, with the Five of Wands, it's kind of also feeling shut out by others. You know what I mean? And, um... But 
it's like this is an opportunity to for you not only to feel good but to feel good about what yourself what you've done and what you've achieved I feel like this person helps you see that you are much freer than you think you are right that you know wow and I feel like this person does have an influence on you um definitely so, so in its way, this kind of feels like a divine thing, like, because obviously the universe brings this person back into your life when you need to step more into yourself or when you need to step back on your path. Because often, yes, you know, things happen and we do kind of get stuck and we do, you know, sometimes we need another person to kind of kick us in the butt and get us back on track, right? And I feel like this is the energy. So the King of Cups, there is love between you. There's caring between you. And I feel like the King of Cups with the Nine of Swords, it's like this person comes back when you're stressed out. You know, when you're feeling hopeless and when you're stressed out, because this person, King of Cups, could be a Scorpio for you or a Cancer or a Pisces but a, a water sign and this person is very calm this person is very like they don't let things bug them you know and they're also very emotionally open they have this like it's like a safe space and and it literally is that this person is a safe space um, that actually helps you with with stress like when you're you know because with the nine of swords or like jesus will this never end you know like thing after thing and there's something about this person that really levels you out and you are like family because the four of wands is here the four of wands with um this is the bond that you have you know um and it, and it is quite magical, and, and it is definitely divine. This is almost like a divine partnership in terms of friendship, which it can show up that way, too. Like, and this person just, like, is helping you get out of your own way, to be honest. The Five of Swords, the Four of Wands with the Five of Swords, it's like, you know, you're feeling... This person comes in your life and kind of lifts you up when you are feeling at your lowest, you know, and they kind of stop you. They're like, they open the door before you like do the wrong thing with the five of swords, you know, because the five of swords is about self-sabotage. And I really feel like this person is helping you to get out of your way and helping you to see something in terms of freedom. You know, they definitely are. And they're saying, you know, like, first of all, they're saying, we're never stuck. What is it that you want to do? I mean, what is your vision? They may even be helping you to figure out what what moves you need to make in order to free yourself of this stuck energy, right? What actions need to be taken? And this person, you know, definitely is very positive I can tell you that they are very positive um, you know and I feel like what they're telling you is what do you want where is it you're trying to be first off and then you know we can look at and we can plan ways for you to get there you know they could also be offering that to you you know because the chariot sometimes deals with moving they could be offering that to you, you know, but they're helping you with the moves you need to make to get where you need to go, right? Because I feel like this person is very motivational for you, which is nice because usually we're the ones giving motivation, but they're here saying, and this person doesn't take it easy on you. They don't baby you, you know, they're like, what is it you want, Sag? What is it you want? You know, because they know that when you know what you want and when you get really focused on what you want, there is nothing that stops you. You know, but, 
you know, sometimes with Sagittarius, when we feel trapped, it, it can get just get so big for us. And there's a feeling of just feeling trapped, right? And so with the ceremony, how this is happening really is this person. I mean, this is going to be really weird, Sag. Like, because I feel like this person is taking you out. With the Nine of Wands reversed, it could be that, you know, you've just been exhausted, keeping to yourself, trying to figure out how to get over these challenges. But the Nine of Wands is definitely the Wounded Warrior where we're licking our wounds. Life has shit on us. And we are like, I can't do anything but stay in this bed for real. But this person with the Two of Cups, they're like, you know what? No. No, we're going to get out. Let's get out. Let's go do something. You know, let's go do something. And I feel like you do it because you, like, there's such a spiritual bond between you and this person. Um, like, with the Two of Cups is definitely about friendship. And it definitely is about someone you align with. And I feel like, you know, that's the energy you feel with this person. Like, okay. You're going to do what they want because you know they know you and you know them. And, you know, this is, and we're seeing the Emperor and the Page of Pentacles. And this really helps you to, you know, formulate a plan. Formulate a plan. You know, move forward. Focus on where you're going, not where you're at. Wow, Saj, this is crazy. And, the, and so, you know, I feel like also what you, what might be happening because, you know, Sagittarius can move in very scattered energy at times. Um, they're helping you see that the key to winning um, is not walking away, Sag. It's not walking away. It's not feeling like life is unfair. Things happen. And that's what they're making you see. Things happen happen there's nothing that's been taken from you there's no way you're being punished you know there's making you see the the value in a plan and they want to help you and they're they're literally helping you they're literally helping you and i saw some of these messages this morning i don't know if it was for yours or pisces reading but you know, and part of how they help you is they help you to not feel so alone. You know, to feel, you know, to feel help, to feel supported. And I actually feel like it makes you feel excited. It makes you feel excited. And you kind of, then you start to get where fate is taking you. Because we're seeing origin, nightmare, fate, gain. This is how you actually turn everything around and you kind of get now you get it with this person you know now you get that that's they're an activator in your life they're a faded person in your life they're there to help you when you feel at your lowest you know and maybe you might even take that as a sign for when you do hear from this person, you know, it's like, oh, okay. Well, things are about to get so much better now. Uh, you know, because this person definitely has the kind of energy that, you know, when you think about Sagittarius energy, it rages. You know, we have a lot of fire energy. And a, a King of Cups would definitely be very soothing. Even though they say fire and water don't mix. There's something about this person's calmness that really centers you. It really centers you. And so, yeah. Wow. Wow, Sag. This is amazing. So, you know, if you, if you hear from someone you weren't expecting to hear from, you're going to know what is going on here. Definitely. And that it's going to have a good ending and get you on the right track. So... I hope this helps, Saj Toodles.